Welcome to another edition of The Audit with Robert Alai. Today we are also at the Uluwazi place in Kitusuru, a place where you get great accommodation, studio apartments, conference room, meeting rooms, and a great restaurant. The ambience here is on another level. And we are with the Jaluo of the Jaluos. <laughs> Yeah, the guy who provokes all Luos and <laughs> Nick all. or the Ambo. That's like 98% of? of Luos and the rest of the world. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Will you have a TV presenter? No, 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 no. I'm not a TV presenter. I'm a blogger. Okay. Yes. Tell yes. me about blogging. Blogging is writing your opinion regularly in an online platform. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so most you... of the bloggers mm. are actually specialists. You know, it's nowadays where people just spoil the blogging name yes you're supposed to be a specialist like you're a journalist yeah. you're a media personality so you know about media yes. so if you go and start your own online journal and write about media stuff you'll That's be the good. best person All right. so if i'm an it i'm an engineer i'm an aviator i'm a doctor write about doctor stuff noted yeah so That's <laughs> my new plan for this year <laughs> yes. no? yeah so niambi is karibu sana show mm -hmm. the audit you have a new job uh, yes. New salary, three million shillings. <laughs> 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 you guys of shags here that yes. you just see. You, I've been invited to WhatsApp, group, WhatsApp, group, WhatsApp, yes, WhatsApp. Yes, yes. and yeah. the way now COVID is killing everybody. Yeah, so oh. already I mean, like, I've got ten invites that are pending for WhatsApp since I started my job the other day. So it means you block the the direct addition. Yeah. So you're now being invited. I really don't want to hear people's problems <laughs> in 2021. <laughs> I have my own. Yeah. Yeah. Karibu sana. Asante. Where were you born? I was born at Mata Hospital. Uh, that's somewhere in Nairobi. South yeah, South Nairobi, Bia. Kenya. Mm. Yeah. Uh, then went to school where? I went to many places. Mm. Uh, primary yeah. or, or pre-primary. Do you go even to nursery school? Oh, I went to very nice school. So my dad used to be a, a diplomat, so yes. we traveled around the world a bit. Now, and I started my education in Kenya. That's around 96, 86, 87. Mm. I went to Kilimani Primary School. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, my dad got a job somewhere in Bita, Bita Point International School. Then I went to Kanga High School. Then I resigned from that school and went to... Oh, what High. was the diplomat doing in Bita? Uh, no, after that, now oh. he came back to Kenya. Yes. Then he joined ISIPE, oh. International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology. That's, that's who? Who is your dad? It's called uh, Evans Anyango. No. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very interesting. I think my dad might have known him. Also my dad was head of education in Bita, uh -huh. and there was somebody he was always talking about from Isipe. Ah, I think my yeah, my, that's my, the station manager, Mr. Like, Nyam. Yes, it's a girl who likes drinks. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> like the sun, <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So, and women are supposed to be liked anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah. so, so from Kilimani, uh, so you went to Bita, yes, mm -hmm. then from Bita, I went to Kanga High School, no Kanga, yes. The Kanga, yeah. that was Kanga. like the Alliance High School of uh, Nyanza <laughs> at that time, uh, but too strict for my liking. Then yeah. I was relieved of my duties as a student there, mm. and then my dad found a school in the classifieds. And I went to read, you know, I read the newspaper, finally, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. The, the school motto is borrow leap school fees. So I went to one of those in real. <laughs> <laughs> That that school might... motto ni fees ni muhimu. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 you finished form four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then you went to campus or no, no, no. no. I you just go to campus. You went to college, and you know, so computer packages. Yes. Yeah. That's that's which year? Computer From was just 2000. getting the, the computer was just getting in. Yeah, and those days of international computer yeah. driving, driving license. license. Yes. You yeah. did yeah. I yeah. up in a panya comps. I'm from that generation, from 2000 to about 2003. Where, well, IT or... Uh, no, now there's a IT school in KU called African Virtual University. Yeah, like me. You Same also know you. Have you? You like KU? Yeah. Ah. Dr. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I started my course. And we were being taught, I always tell guys, we are being taught by professors. Yes. We are not taught by class uh, from four levels. What? <laughs> Which year were you there? I was, I think, at 99. Ah, oh, because me, I finished high school in 99. Yeah, so... Uh, You're the first generation from me. Yes, you know, the no, second generation, I think. There was a generation which you bad Kidogo. Oh, then now because the started. systems were... Not, it was being funded by the World Bank. Yeah. So it was not, it was not stable. So to 99, when we got in, at least they had receipts, they had everything. Was, ah. <laughs> everything was, was structured. 
Nice. Yeah, and we were being taught by by very good uh, lecturers. I really love the ideas, and you know, it's the policy I use. And you know, one of the things I came with from there mm. was that uh, if you have not met anybody and they're online, treat them like dogs. Well, <laughs> no, it's a very good. No, it's a very good. It's a very good thing when you do like you know when you chokosa the the lures yeah. and they come after you. <laughs> when everybody's a dog to you, you don't really care what they <laughs> they do. Yeah. Meanwhile, you promise guys you'll you'll strip if what happens. If... I, I will strip after this show. Ah, uh, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> The but you know, the, is coming. Yeah. the problem is that men are demanding it more than ladies. Paka, you're holding back. Paka, ni kaseba. Muna takuwa na nini. Kila mtu alengia TMB. Everybody got into TMB. Okay, okay. So how did you get into the media? Well, it's a long journey. Now, mm. when I was a kid, mm. I used to listen to music, you know, like... So there was an international school. So kids come from the States, Giannini, they bring tapes. Some people send music. So I listened to Snoop Dogg's album. Mm. So there's skits in between there mm. where there's like a, a VO for a guy in a radio station. You're mm. listening to Bill Balls. And EG. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if you've listened to Snoop uh, Doggy's the album. Which, 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 which the album? first one. Yes. In 93, 94. So I mm. listened to that guy and said, wow. Mm. And then now these tapes people have dubbed from the States. I listen yes. to how they talk. Then they get into the songs. So that's mm. when I started saying, I must enter, I must enter, I must enter. But now those in FM in Kenya. Mm. But now around Bita, you could catch the RS4. Uh, UG. Mm. So you listen to Capital FM Uganda, Sanyu FM. So you start getting that vibe, you're like, wow, this is nice, this is nice. So now I just said, I must do this one day. Mm. So in Kansas, two up. That's you practice, you know, you record yourself, you keep going. Uh, then FM started, I think, 98, 97. Yeah. yeah. Like in the Capital and all. Yes. Then you listen to guys. My cousin became a radio presenter at that mm. time. He was mm. a viewer artist, Edward. Mm. Mm. Uh, say like wow Edward Quartz yeah. remains one of the best voices in Kenya yeah yeah I think he's still one of the the, the what uh, the voiceovers yes. yeah yeah so you listen to them I Jimmy Gatto come in yeah I start picking up these shows they were Alex Belfields come mm. you know the Odieros who came that yeah. fast but what, very what arrogant you, guys you know when you're in Shags what were you listening to mostly is it the Metro FM it was no, made, no, no, that place, he, mm. now we left and came back to Nairobi in oh, 1996, Yes, yes. But now there, uh, I could catch UG. Yes, because it's Sanyo, the, the years also, Sanyo, yes, Capital. Yes. And I think there's another one. Yeah. Another and you I know, remember. because you're not close to Kisumu, so you don't catch proper Kenyan FMs. Yeah, the, 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 the this would be Metro, and uh, or it was called something else that time. Metro and Capital. VOK. V- <laughs> yes. The metro, KBC, metro service. Metro. Not, yeah, the KBC. Like Jeff Monday. But they also metro. Metro. With, like in a bill or DD. Yeah. Do you know, do you know, do you know Greg Rap Murray? You know. I know Jeff Mwangemi. Jeff Mwangemi. But uh, Jeff Mwangemi was Mungemi. more of a KC, KBC guy. Mm. He was not of the FM. Yeah, the answer for metro, I can't remember them very well. Yeah, but yeah. I listened to metro also. Yeah. So now, kidogo, kidogo, you just, you know, life goes on, you try. So I tried, I started trying to get into radio maybe two or three. Mm. Oh, so you'd go to Londra House to attempt to, to get, get there. Your, uh, How? That's uh, your views every Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a view every Saturday. Yes, yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. you just go and attempt to. But you, you don't have a dear ascent. Mm. So, you know, get. So, you know, you know, you know, you have the, the, the info. Mm. So, I'd go at least once or twice a month. Then I like this FM started, I mm. could jaribu apo. Hey, in a gonga ukuta, it was called Nation at that time. Yeah. In a gonga ukuta. So now after that, you just get your regular job. So I started doing telemarketing. I started at Intercontinental. What's Ken Call? No, Intercontinental Inter- first. Inter- yes. Then I went to Ken Call. Intercontinental was, who was there? Who was at uh, the telemarketing? Uh, lady called Lucy was in charge of telemarketing. We're selling privilege card. Oh. Yeah. So you know, like you are the up market of telemarketing. Because you know, there was a... <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you try there for a bit, then uh, Ken Call started. Mm. People just kept on being churned out. So mm. since I had experience, Nika join Uko. Okay, and Ken Call. Yeah, I worked in How Ken was Call. it? You know the, the 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 farm. It's called what? The plantation. <laughs> yeah, Uko at Samia Industrial Park. Yeah. Hey, well, it was hectic. You know, they, the way they pitched you, they you'll make tunes. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So the first few weeks, it's you're earning commission. Yes. Do you want to guess what my first commission was? No. 400 bob. 400, no, 800. But you're paid half now. After mm. the sales are confirmed, you get your next 800. So you give them cash 400 bob. What are you selling? Uh, uh, 
BT, British Telecom lines. Mm. So I was on the British line for a bit, then yeah. I put on the American market a bit mm. to get appointments for Tony Robbins. Mm. That is when I managed. That's which year? 205. 205, yeah. Mm. I remember that. You know, well. the guys who are working with the, the techies and pitching this BPO thing, you know, this yes. is the IT That's you're going the to time. make. This is the way to go. go. I got my first 400 bob, but you know now that time you can't resign. Yeah, no. Yeah, because that's the time all women all ask, so what do you do with your chef? <laughs> like you should have asked me this when I had a job. So by 400 bob, yeah. I went and spent it on what? Uh, the least airtime you could buy was 250. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 250 gone, you broke it with 150 bob. So I bought a big Coca-Cola and uh, I think two or three Mandazis, mm. and that's my 300 bob gone. He hundred bob now is fair to work for the next ten days before the next four. You're staying with Paros. No, my mama had left us a house. She yes, on, but she left the house. Mm. So Samia to Maradaima. Mm. It's just around the corner. Oh, that was easier now. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. So to Kafanyo, mm. I went to Airtel. It was called Celtel at that time. Yes. Kafanya to you, you. Telemarketing. Yeah, I remember that group. You know, you guys were, hey, those guys were really used to, <laughs> I think aggressive. that's when I was starting this uh, <laughs> blogging thing. Oh. And they used to send me all their complaints, you know, ah, like for many. Hey, yeah. so selling postpaid lines. Yeah. Did that for a few months, then mm. I had the radio. Mm. If you have a nice voice, you've got a great personality, and you'd like to work in the radio, send us a demo to Classic 105. If a thousand people are listening to this, advert now and they all drop their cvs and their demos who's going to listen to a thousand demos i said well, i'm just going to do it my way yeah go away. I make a few phone calls nini persist mm. until one day i was told uh, in fact last weekend on the 15th was my first day in radio in 2006. Mm -hmm. so me, i've spoken to whoever i get there uh, boss puts the fader up and says ah, you want to be on radio so who is that? Maina Kageni. Mili meza tu karudisha mic tena chinga. Hey, I'm about to watch it too. It's like, you know, you're already here, you might as well. I'm like, Zzz. like, so I'll come and go, I teach now how to do radio. So he taught me the basics, mm. uh, you know, how to do a link. That's now your talk break. Yes. Then uh, I think a week later or two, that's when I started my official first day with a lady called Valentine Jorogi. Yeah, where did she went to, to some sex uh, sex uh, show? She went to some sex show. She was teaching. She was teaching. Oh, guys. You know, before you said the show, you just said she went into some sex. I don't then know. I'm like, what are we talking about? Yes. Then he said show. I'm like, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Ezekiel can be on our back. Yes. Who is Ezekiel? Oh, ah. He might not even think he wants guys to have ads for people, but no, 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 no. And it encourages nudity. No, no, no. But it encourages nudity. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that but it's good for your health, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the, uh -huh. yeah. So you with Valentine Jeroge? Mm. Yeah. So uh -huh. you 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 are paired with her. I was paired with her. That was my first co-presenter. Yeah. Then after that, I don't know. She left or well, excuse. She oh, she was moved shows, and then another lady from Uganda was brought. Mm. Brenda Zobo. Mm. Then after that, Marcus was brought. Another Ugandan. Yes, yes, Marcus. Then uh, Shiko Moiruri, mm -hmm. then Larry Asego, then I was moved around. Then I came back to Larry Asego, and then we both resigned around the same time in 2016, 2017. Yeah. 2017. What did you resign? To pursue other interests, I was, I was called to Radio Maisha. Why? From classic. People are used to you. This is the only thing you've done. But I've been there 11 years. To then, Swahili. To this is like. <laughs> I had a rumor that they were starting another radio station there. Oh. So when I got there, I thought maybe that is where I'm going. Spice FM. Yeah. <laughs> so you thought there was a, a spice coming? Well, mm. I was thrown in the deep end, Swahili. Have you had and you have resigned or you have not resigned by well, that time no, when you're being no, no. told these things? No, no, no. They invited, I was offered a jobo, mm. then I gave these other guys, but then they thought I was bluffing because they've never had me speak Swahili. They are like, sir, let's see. <laughs> so in New Zealand, no one is telling you, come, we negotiate. I guess I'm a monomen, you live in Achan Kazane. So I went there with my Swahili, Swanglish, mm, mm. mixed it up, kido, kido, and kapatatu, rhythm yangu. After four years. What, what do you think helped you to, to, to adapt in the Swahili environment? Because your luo, Swahili is your mdomuchako. Siyo ulini ya baba yangu, as we said, I was not my mother tongue. Yes. 
you know, mm. I've met a lot of people in the world, eh? mm. like they, my dad is working at a place for science and everything. Mm. You know, there are people who get up, go to school and learn how to do brain surgery. I can't even imagine how you start a surgery. You know, putting nerves together, you know, making sure you come back to me. So it's like, if people can do that, like how hard is it for me to just piece some words together, make it entertaining, you know, whatever Swahili I can, yes. and you have a blast. You see, when you put it that way, it's, you realize it's not that and hard. And you gamble with this and you, and you have not tried it. Mwanda ome ni kuchukwa risks. Everything in this world has risks. Can you mind the guy who sat down and said, uh, I really like to talk to someone who's not here. Huh? And sat down and came up with a telephone. You can even conceptualize that in your head. You get So learning another language can't be that hard. Yeah. And you language get? is practice. Language is practice. Yeah. Mm. And if I can't encourage myself, who will encourage my kids for me? So you did Swahili for how long? Because, you know, English for ten and a half years is long, man. I did for four years. Yeah. Mm. How was your best experience on, you know, the Swahili and the, the English? The, uh, everything the has difference. its pros and cons. Mm. You know, now, like, the Swahili market is a bit different. It's a bit more mass market. Yes. So you also have learned how to appeal to that audience. Then yeah, I was doing Roomba at some point in the evening. Yeah. So, you know, you also tweak with the audience. At some point, I used to do breakfast. Now, that, that's when I used to go insane. Can, can you imagine? Just try and say this in, in English. Eh? Mm. Uh, the CS in charge of water has said that water distribution has got to be available to everyone in Kenya starting October. So, <laughs> 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 what can you remember from what I said? <laughs> It was it? Yes, yeah, it was it? Yes. Yeah. So now imagine somebody else who's fluent in that, and then he's co-host, and then you go talk about some deep stuff. So it'll throw you off a bit. A bit. Mm. But uh, eventually you'll pick. But up. you know, you 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 laughed also from there. You're listening to classic music. Mostly yeah. the playlist is mostly classic music, like old school. Yeah, music, yeah. But you know? but also personally, you love rap music. I love hip hop. Yeah. And then at home, my dad and my mom used to play soul and everything and rumba. To the house oh, so rumba. You know, I was wondering how you got into this rumba thing. All Lu households have mm -hmm. rumba. Rumba. Yeah. When you're kids, yeah. you see your dad also no. played. You know, that's a Lu, Lu alcoholics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Lu uh, and you drink alcohol, uh, you'll get the rumba. Yes. But my dad used to listen to this Kenny Rogers, uh, you know, uh, Roger Whittaker, Michael yes. Bolton. You know, my dad was. Him and Jeff Quinnang would get <laughs> Yes, well. yes, so, yes. <laughs> So, so it was that kind of guy. So, and we used to listen to other the Swahili ones. Yeah. The Swahili now, so Les Wanika, Bas. I don't know if those are rumba. Those are banger. Those are what? Those are uh, what? It's the Swahili ones. So, yeah. It was a very nice place. Mm. So, so after uh, Maisha, up to the last one is the last year and you left. Yeah. I left for now, Maisha join in May. Yeah. To join. To and join. Ninety six. How do you get your underwear? How do I get into adverts now? Because of the radio work. Uh, so you see, now my cousin used to do voiceovers and he'd yeah. make a decent amount of money. Yeah. So, and me also have a nice voice. So now, you know, because now radio, if your show is four hours, so you work for five hours in a day. Mm. So you've got free time either in the morning. Mm. If you're a morning presenter, you've got free time from after 11 the whole day. Mm. So I just started going for auditions, for auditions, for auditions. Uh, I think the first V I did was, I think, Johnny Walker. Around that time when Haile Selassie, is it called Haile Gabriel Selassie? Yes. That guy was like the brand ambassador for a short bit. So that was the first view I did. I think mm. it was 209 or something. Mm. Mm. So I said, this is not bad. I can, if I can get like two a week, mm. make sure to go to sir. The pay was good. Now those first, first ones, you don't have negotiating power. Yes. You just take whatever. Do you have a manager? Uh, no, no, no. No. You, no, even now? Even now, you just call me directly. Then it, Who negotiates for you? See me. Because you know, I found a, a very big, there's a trend emerging here. Mm. All these <laughs> young, I, th I think they need it. But you know, it also brings in a level of uh, bureaucracy mm -hmm. in their engagements. Yeah. yeah. Because you find that if you want to, there's a new generation upcoming, especially the digital generation. So you want to engage them, there's always a manager. Yeah, who is not sure what he or she is doing. You know, some of these things better if you talk to the client directly. Yeah. Because let's say you're going to charge someone 100K. Yeah. But their budget was 50. Yeah. But you, I mean, it's a VO, you see. And you pick the brands you work with. Then you have these things lined up. When I've got a manager, you go to pay him to do what? Like accountant, nini, nini. So you still get that 50 in the end. 
maybe you need a manager when you're really, really huge. Yeah. You get. Yeah. That's when you get a man. Nowadays, you get even a guy who's. I don't need to look down upon someone. No, no. You're not really much. Yeah. Uh, do, do my manager. Right <laughs> <laughs> but you're here. Yes. What is your rate? Then I'll have someone send you an email. Your manager can sign and. Yes. You get. Mm. So, but anyway, watch out with my superstar. Kila mm. mtuna style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. everybody oh. has that diva moment, you know. So. Yeah, that diva moment is only good when you are an actual something in the world. Like Diamond Nye is allowed to be a diva. Yeah. He's, he's, Before he's, he met Zari, was he being a diva? No. In fact, I hear, I don't know what that story is, but P-Unit refused to give him a, a role in the video. Or he played a very small role in the video. Really? I had that kind of story in the, in the office one day. Mm. But look at him now. Now he can say... They didn't recognize him then. Yeah. But he's expected, you know, because he the can. Tanzanians were just coming in and the Swahili, the, the Kenyan, you know, Kenyan look down upon you. The, you know, Kingereza Mingi. Mm, you get <laughs> it. Work. So now, yeah. he can say, talk to my manager. We look through my schedule when he's and now, see where we can slot you. Yes. You get it. Because he has Wasafi TV and radio. He's got he his all, tours around the tours. world. He's got to record here and there. And then now, can say, currently today is in uh, South Africa looking for a new private plane. Uh, that, that's a good line. <laughs> but now if you're like one of these guys who's complaining about he hasn't been paid 5k and he's got a team, you can't tell me you have a manager. <laughs> what, what do you need a manager for? And, and you're making noise on social media for 5Gs. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so how much do you pay the manager? You know, how the manager text him? <laughs> yes, you, you if you are the artist and you're making noise over 5k, what do you pay your manager? Nonsense. <laughs> 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 ah, I mean, I keep it real, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you know that's 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 very bad. So apart from the the voiceovers, so you say the the first one you did was Johnny Walker. Yeah. Then others, which you. Then others. Think... I remember that because it was the first one. Yeah. That came through. Mm. So now I've just been doing lots of them. You take some, you leave some. Mm. You see dance that align with your brand. If you like them, you know. You also, don't just do all acts. Yeah, like yeah. there's some guys who now, it's something called uh, audience fatigue. Yes. You've had your voice. If it's tissue, you're there. If it's bread, you're there. If it's carpets, you're there. If it's taxi apps, now you become too much. Guys are like, hey, let's use a different voice. On a level, that's mm. called audience fatigue. Mm. So may I do this one? I take a rest. Do that. I take a rest. Mm. As it comes, it may come. It's come. But also you get brand loyalty because, you know, like I was talking to Kate, the actress, mm -hmm. and she says only in the Android space, the, the smartphones, she does Infinix only. Mm. And she doesn't want others, you know, like if Oppo comes or Samsung comes, tells them that, you know, I'm already doing Infinix. Even if I don't have a gig now, I can't do any other because now... And you see, that's also when now you've also told the client, let's say, give me, let's work with a figure. Yeah. A million shillings? Yeah. You see, you push for them with all your heart because you've got a meter. When the next gig comes, you say, what do I, why don't I add this? Add me two socks. So you've got 1.2. You do it in a big way. Yes. But now if you're of taking 3K here, 5, would have got 1 million lini. Mm. I keep telling guys, build your brand pole pole and peg a value to it. Yes. Uta than 1,000. But sky up for long. Peg a value. Panda. Ivo, 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 Kidogo na nyumba yako, Kidogo can start your own production house. But if you just do things for fame. <laughs> I'm eating at guys, eh? <laughs> You're eating at guys. You know, uh, talking about the, the brand endorsements, and now you get to voice and, and radio. You know, most, most of the time you're doing the voice, whether it's brand endorsement, the views, mm. or you're doing radio. But now there was also a talk at some point that radio or the mainstream media is dead. Mm -hmm. And it was challenging. But the, the, the funny thing I've seen is that while TV might be at risk a bit because people are not going to watch live news, people are going to do video on demand. Like, I want to watch news when I want. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, there's a time in the pubs you would even stop music. Yeah, at like so, 59. <laughs> yes. Funguza. <laughs> Funguza. Mm. You watch the 1 p 7 p.m. and you also watch the 9 p.m. news. It was like the world has stopped in the whole country and everybody has to watch news. But now people watch the news when they want. And the question is that the, the voice space is expanding. How do you see it? You know, do, you, do, you, do you jump on it, especially on the digital front? The podcasts are growing. Now you've seen Facebook has launched the audio rooms. 
Twitter has done, the Twitter spaces, there's the clubhouse, which inspired all these things, all, all the, the social media expansions. Where do you see the voice? Do you, use, do you jump on the platform? Uh, you see now, you have to look at what you want to do mm. and uh, start doing it and then look for a way to make yourself consistent. You see now you, because they're doing uh, audit, mm. another guy might say, ah, but see, you na a camera, watch any jaribu. But I see you, you're coming from a place of you've got your history and mm. everything. You know how to mm. conduct the questions, what to ask na kadalika. Other people just start, Kidogi wants to do something else. Do it. Very soon you've got a, a full plate of so many things mm. that you're not doing. Mm. Mm. So the same people say the media is dead. Mm. Media is dead if whoever has his media house or mm. media space, they're not is doing with it. Because mm. it's like, what, maybe 200 radio stations in the country, but in your head when you th think about radio, there's the 10 ones that will come to mind. You at least maybe know the name or a presenter there. There's something you like about it. Mm. It's mm. the same way news is consumed. I'll see it now. Mm. But uh, maybe out of habit, at 9 o'clock, I want to watch a particular news presenter. Yes. You get Yeah. So some people like sports news. They'll consume it as it comes mm. and go to YouTube. Yeah, some people just want to hear this guy. They're waiting for JKL. Yeah, they hear the, the Villa Mepanga story. Yes. Because I'm going radio. And then gear ask him ziki, nini ni as they're driving or are they at work. Mm. Now TV becomes a bit tricky because it's 24 hours a day mm. and you've got to cater for all segments. Mm. So depending on what time it is and what you like, you might go to TV station X. Now TV, most TV stations like to cut costs, kabisa, so the quality of productions are low, very low, especially in Kenya. Yeah, or so they don't use technology. They, you know, just, just, I used to sit at another place and see some guys, sasa we don't get you, BBI. We we utakata. <laughs> Action! <laughs> Bubble gum shooting the whole day. There's no take two. Yes. Evo, evo, when you Evo. Evo, evo. Cut, copy, paste. And then now the cameraman, the editor, are on a psych. So you just, you can just see this cut, copy, paste, cut, copy, paste, cut, copy, paste. Then you put like a little, dun, 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 dun. those are to sound bites, a guy's walking. You're like, where were Robert? Silly Kwambia, Lazma to find nini, 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 nini. You know those silly conversations. Then they piece it together. Who's going to watch that stuff apart from the house girl? Because you'll come home, you put your Netflix. The other guys will be Showmax, Amazon Prime, YouTube. You get. Mm -hmm. And when you go to YouTube, you go specifically for something. So if you have your media house and yeah. you put guys, you don't pay them enough, yeah. see them will just wait for Salah and give you a bubble also, gum and, yeah. <laughs> and wrap it up. There's, there's, there's a bit of laziness because you find even now the daytime TV is all about telenovelas. All laziness is an ugly word. Let's just call it selective participation. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, so, so, so people, I don't know how we can... You know, it's on, it's on the, the show's front, but it's also on the music front. We are not paying or playing much local content. Uh, and you can blame it on the platforms, but you also should blame it on the artist. Because Kenyan artists also don't invest in their trade. Yeah. Uh, put your stuff together, package it really well, then keep tweaking. Keep yes. tweaking till you get your rhythm. Roma wasn't built in a day. Yes. You get yeah. Once you get your rhythm, mm. then you go with that flow. Mm. Tweak, rebrand yourself a bit like that. And you keep growing. And re release as many songs as possible. <laughs> it's, it's really hard to be a superstar with one song you released in 2006. Yes. You get it? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm seeing studio. You've seen them with their shades, man. But to na fanya tuma vitu up and palette. Kuna kiti to talk akibao keep ya. And the last song was 15 years ago. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Nameless. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not nameless. <laughs> nameless is my bro. <laughs> nameless, uh, nameless, but you but know the artist I'm talking about. I, I, I like uh, Nameless because, you know, he just released the Nini with the wife. Uh, I see the them, era. they do it for fun because he is an architect. Yes. Now those other guys who want to sag and walk in the street out with their sunglasses. A battle to Kakwa studio, man. We're just working on some stuff. I can see him. See him built to a song last evening. Preza. Yeah. Tough. Tonga wimbo mpaka tupende. Yes. Eh, then that one becomes a hit. You get the rhythm. You chomo another one like that. That's how it goes. Yeah. You can't have one hit to do it. <laughs> one hit wonder. Uh, so, you know, the, so so you know you've talked about CMB and others. I've just the, the the content you get on and and now the playlist. Like uh, you're back at Hot 96, and Hot 96 is almost like classic. 
because you are playing sometimes uh, classic hits, but they are not limited to the soul. And you know, you are you are playing hip hop, you are playing uh, side like things, or even the new music. Yeah. So how do you choose? Sometimes you want to promote your country because if your country thrives, you thrive. Yeah. You as as, 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 as you know, a, a good song is a good song. Eh? Yes. Yes. It'll just be loaded. A hit is a hit. Yes. You get when you're doing Afro house, Afro beat. Yeah. There'll be a Nyashinsky there, yeah. a Calligraph, yeah. Ilani, you know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, but now there are some other songs Pia Yendi to na na vibe ya station. Warazi wana muoko wa kibuya, yo Pia Rajata Nidi to trenda kidogo. It sounds like a call to action for pickpockets. You're playing the <laughs> you're playing the pinya game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, uh, you, you get what, what, the, yes, what yes. I mean. Yeah. But you know, I was asking, why don't we play Kenyan music? No, we do, we do, we do. Yeah. Uh, I listen to the radio in the car, there are stations that promote. There's a song that just has a, a you know, music is universal. Right? Yes, yes. There are songs that will just appeal to mm. Akikuyu, Aembu, a Tanzanian, yeah. a Ghanaian. It's just nice. Yes. And then there's another one, you'll feel like, hey, this is not our crowd. But I leave it like this. It's the same with those same stations will say, hey, uh, let's not play jazz because jazz is not our target audience. What you hear there? We get. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's the same way you don't do your interviews in Django, but in, in Luoland, you must be a big hit. Comedy. How did you get into comedy? You know, I don't know why guys think I'm a comedian, but <laughs> because, I just have some opinions you know, that at you know, some you, point you might laugh. Huh? You're, the guy you are replacing is Hamo. Uh, and Hamo is a comedian. Some people are saying that this guy is a comedian. This guy uh, is not. You know now the difference between comedy and radio is mm. the purpose of radio is to disseminate information in a nice, entertaining way. Yes. If you've got a sense of humor, mm. that adds. You get mm. Now, comedy, like for these guys, they'll have their, what, like five, ten minutes on their platforms. Yes. But now on radio, you know, you have to, all oh, links have to be entertaining. Mm. You get mm. So, I so don't, don't know. have to, you know, entertaining only, the all links are, have to be entertaining is confusing me. Because uh, I think what's, I don't know where the Kenyan media is, but the, 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 you're supposed to educate, inform, and entertain yes yes that's all the role of media Radio. Mm. but sometimes in kenya you you seek to entertain so much you don't inform you don't educate ah uh, so those uh, educative <laughs> shows <laughs> that too serious grounds for skillizaji leo tutajifundisha maswala ya ukulima then yeah. they play, do, 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 do. are you going to stay how long are you going to listen to that no but you know you can educate ukulima. you know like some somebody Nasi hapa kwenye show ni mkulima bora. Uh, Robert Alai. Anafuga. Anafuga nyuki. Misumari, that's the nickname for Omena. <laughs> <laughs> Karibu kwenye studio. Now yeah. continue. Tell me how many guys will listen to that for an hour. Very, very, very. But you know, if you make it nice, like there's a guy who used to impress me on radio. Uh -huh. And I really look for him. Yeah. Greg Rapmurei. And he was on Metro FM. Okay. So this guy, I loved hip hop. So you tell you the history of the artist, like the Snoop Dogg. You know, I used to, I used to, I used to talk the, about the history of the, the Snoop, the, the American rappers, the mm -hmm. hip hop artists, like uh, nobody's business. Yes. Because the presenter was educating me, informing me about the artist. So I was just not consuming the culture. I was. Th saying, that's what we do. It's just that it's changed from those days. It's called artist prep. Yes. So you later talk about the song, how you feel about the song, what it yes. makes you feel. Yes. As long as you say it in a way that. Present uh, the, the listener can relate. You know, mm. back in the day it was Metro, and then the KBC or whatever it was called, Capital, yeah, no. and maybe Capital. Capital was only in Nairobi, I think. Yeah. You get so mm. you've got this, those two options. Now mm. there's so much, and the information is you already know Snoop Dogg. What mm. can I tell you today, tomorrow, the day after about Snoop Dogg that you don't know? Mm. You see, unless something I see on Instagram, maybe mm. he's bought a new car. Or, you know, like the Diamond bought a new car. So he's bought a new car. It's a Rolls Royce, mm. and we play Diamond every day. We like talk about the Rolls Royce every day. No. Today I can talk about the new car. Yeah. I can say the way Tanasha Donna seems like she's creeping back. Uh, Zari has gotten a new boyfriend. So you see that information, you see how to dish it out in a nice, short and sweet way. Where they add other things in the commercial content and give the list. Ultimately, it's for the listener. Mm. You get it? Yeah. Mm. And, you have, and you have to pay the bills. And you have to pay bills and play the music. Yeah. So how did you get into the comedy? From what point? Uh, okay, it's, 
people say comedy. Okay, make X, some funny. X, Y, Z. So I'm in the office. I'd seen the rolling credits after seeing the puppet show on TV. Uh, maybe a week or two before. I think it's been running for a month. So I did my research. I found out it belongs. Uh, it's being produced by Gado. You know Gado, the cartoonist. Yes, yes. So uh, I leave the studio, and guess who I meet? Gado has come to I think pitch to Radio Africa. If you can put it on one of the TV stations, I don't know what the meeting was for or, for, or to cartoon. Kiss TV. Yeah, he was at the Radio Africa building, up or Lions Place, Bayaki. Mean corner Gado. I don't see like the way in town you see a hot chick and you're like, <laughs> it's now or never. This is going to be my wife. He pressed the leaf lights and he stepped in my ass, ran down the stairs. It's two floors. When it's ding ding, when it's opening, I'm there. I pitched, I pitched, I pitched, I pitched, I pitched. He gave me a number, send your audio there. Those guys told me, come. I even did cancer. I used to do like a supporting role. You know, those are the paid G, how much? Like less than 10k a month. But I'm like, you know what? This one, if I add to the views, eventually, because I've got the time anyway. Time is a very terrible thing to waste. Right? Is, yeah. So you go there, you sit, you do your role. In fact, and that's how it started. Mm. Mm. So that's your first comic gig? Yeah, on uh, XYZ. No, it's a satire show, so the script is written in such a way that it should make you laugh or be entertained. You didn't do drama in school or no, <laughs> those crazy things? Those... I, I didn't do any of those things. I, I just played basketball. Oh, um, in school? Yeah. After what level? After school, I even played semi-professional. Oh. Yeah, it was good. Oh, okay. But now, because I've got a job and radio and it ends at seven, now I couldn't practice in the evening anymore. And basketball with hip hop used to go together, you know, so. <laughs> so and Sprite. Yeah, and, and, and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, so Sprite, so basketball, comic, the, the journey from comedy, because you know, XYZ died at some point. I don't know if it well, died. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. It comes for a season, yeah. And it's also very popular around the, the electioneering period. Yes, and then it's, it's a very expensive show to produce. Oh, really? Like one puppet is controlled by two people. So the guy who does the upper torso, the upper lower torso, this guy has to do the green screen manenos, the camera work, the VO, the VO studio. It's a very expensive venture. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm, One episode of ours. Huh? Yeah. So, so, but they got sponsors now. At least it's self-sustaining. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for them to call us. <laughs> yes, then, yes. When you, you know when you see the, the season has started, then now yes. you can be confident about yeah. when the next one is showing. Wait, wait, so, so how many roles did you play there? Because you're playing Kef Jainange, you're the Raila. No, I, I used to do... Jeff Koinange's voice for Kev Joinange. Mm. And then uh, there's two small, small ones that are thrown here and there. Mm. So depending on if you practice it or if you can, if there's someone else who's conditioned mm. and then you just let him do it. Otherwise, it'll be just three of us just doing the whole show. You know what I mean? Mm. So some of them you have to watch here, a guy who sat there. So at <laughs> some point I learned, I learned how to speak like uh, Barack Obama. Uh, that was towards the end of uh, his tenure in office. You get it. Yeah. So you have to learn to do it in such a way that you can yeah. sound exactly like him. Yeah. Uh, Kamini, you want to hear them or what? No, 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I know yes. everything about voiceover. Everything is really like that. I started a long time ago. And you know when you're an expert at Robert Eli removing your clothes? And we're waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Melania wants to see you without clothes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> you have to pick someone's new one says you yes. watch it until yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You, you, don't, you, don't, you, you don't do anything of UK. Huh? UK. Or, yeah. No, no, there's another guy who used to be able to do his voice. You know, if someone is better at you, mm. you let him shine in that one, you shine in yours. Yes, yes. Like, it's, it's like a teamwork thing. So, like, do you do the African presidents? No. Uh, the the, the there's Sanga. another guy, the guy who I called now who told me, hey, come. He's mm. called Kaimba Izan, who does Museveni. Mm. He could also do Robert Mugabe. Mm. You get, I could do a voice for Nelson Mandela. But you see now these guys, sometimes the lights go off. You're like, ah, what are we going to do with this voice? Yes. So him is very good at doing Robert Mugabe, which I could also do. Because I thought you fit into the, the BBC has a very nice program. It's called the, the African Presidents. Ah. African president, president. Oh, yeah? Is, is on Friday evening. Yeah, Friday after Network Africa. Network Africa is from what time? From 6 p.m. Yes. So they have a very nice uh, skit there. Uh -huh. I think for five minutes. Nice. Yes, one uh. of the best thing I thought this guy should it's be doing. Running. Yes, he's running. So you have the Olusegun, which is what? Basanjo. 
Then you have the Kibaki man, which is Mwai Kibaki. Ah. <laughs> so it, it, it's very interesting. I thought that you guys would fit in. Yeah, that. I think I'll write something. It's, uh, you know, about now African presidents who've left, then I can just be doing Mwai, yes, yes. Robert Mugabe. Yeah, you do even research. I think like like the one for, there's a guy who is a, is a, stand, is a comedian in TZ, and he does the Magufuli. And so people still take, the politicians still take him to rallies to ah, do the Magufuli do the... Yeah, imitations. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, but have you done any stage plays? Uh, no. What? When it's just X, Y, Z. Yeah. Uh, radio and then voiceovers. Mm. I'm venturing into animation. If we ever, now you've told me about those guys. Yeah, yeah, because I thought I thought you you would also do great on um, those plays like that that are Leon's. Yeah, which, uh, yeah. You know the Kenya National Theatre used to be but not so well fed. No, 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 like... But you know. I don't like doing sometimes, things for no. <laughs> some, some, sometimes, sometimes you do it for inspiration. No, huh? it's, you inspire a generation. You teach people. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> you. You taught me. No, no, you just, just, <laughs> just, 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 just teach them. Just teach them. You know, sometimes yeah. you do. Is it like your CSR? Mm. Because you're a brand. Yeah. And CSR is part of marketing. Yeah. I think I, I like to do things that are also worthwhile mm. in terms of time and money. Mm. So you see, there are things I can teach you mm. for like 30 minutes and you will keep picking them. Now there are things that take so much time and then you look at the end of the day because me and I can say, okay, so what did I la uh, learn and what value did it bring? Mm. Like that to Tom Boyer stage play, mm. uh, the one which ran for some time, I think done with that, uh, that, that team on, on, online. The, the one which was at uh, that place in, in Parklands, I think at the, the Oshual. Oh. It was one of the best uh, produced plays. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You know, oh. because those guys told the history of Tom Boyer in, I think, one or two hours. Yeah, and, and I think you, I, I don't know why you don't do stage plays, because it's one of the, we used to love it, uh, and I used to see people like Nyong'o. Nyong'o mm. was one of the biggest supporters. You would not miss, like, Friday evening, Kenya National Theatre, to end up watch plays. I think that's where also Nani started. What's her name? Lupita. Yes, I yes. I saw her in one of those things. Then after that, she did Sugar. Yes. You remember Sugar? There? Yes, it's the Sugar. There. Yeah, because yeah. I was there when Sugar One came and she was in the theater with the dad. Kidogo, mm. kidogo, gafla binvu. Hollywood. Me, I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lupita. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so, so apart from that, the acting part now, you've done... I, I've acted in a few programs here and there, mm. uh, and TV. That that something boss. What was anti boss? Anti boss, you've done. Uh, Does that anti boss lady, uh, the boch? Sandra. 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 Yeah. Hey, Sandra Dasha. Yeah. Uh, she should take you to KNH, <laughs> Kenya National Theatre. Kenya. I'll, I'll reach out to her and then yeah. see what it. Because now you know I work mornings, huh? Yes. So I have free time. Before, if I was working, you know, dry. Tell, tell, tell us that you need, guys seven, need to. You don't have time to do do these other things. Mm, you guys need to revive the the lower plays. Yeah, we we'll look into it. Yes. Yeah, so you've done uh, anti boss. Uh, anti boss X Y Z. Mine haven't done many. Eh? Mm. But now you're at here. You are at uh, Royal Media. Maybe you'll start doing mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> No money, you, no honey. You, you can, my, 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 you my can be the, no you money, can, no honey. And the can, money has to make sense, man. You can be the, the prodigal son or the brother of uh, <laughs> of Oke. <Okay. laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yes, Maybe yes. in the future I see if you can go to Hollywood. I don't know. I, I don't think that the Hollywood should be in Africa. I don't think that. Because you know, like the Nigerians did with their... They are, they are, they are, they're acting with so the Nollywood. Mm -hmm. I think we can create our own Riverwood here yeah, because they call it Riverwood. Then everybody looked down upon it and uh, thought and I that... I think also lack of creativity. You know, there's Hollywood, then Bollywood, Nollywood, yes. Riverwood. Yes. We can't just call it something. Yeah. Even if you're just calling it the Kenya movie scene, you know. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Your lack of creativity. Like once upon a time, back in the day when Facebook started and eBay, mm -hmm. then someone says, there is a kind of sort of at the Kenyan Facebook. Like, really? What's going to make me leave Facebook to go and look for Kenyan Facebook? To the Kenyan eBay. No, <laughs> start your own thing and then we'll jump on it if it's good enough. You know yeah. what I mean? The one like, that's... Mdundo is really nice. Yeah. You know, yes, yes, the name, yes, yes, yes. Like yes. Mdundo, Mdundo is great. You know, they didn't no, call... I want to call... What's that for Apple called? Apple Music. Apple Music. Yeah, the Kenyan Apple. Uh, the Kenyan Apple Music. No. Be unique. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I think I think the opportunity is in Africa here. I don't yeah. think because you know there's there's a level of discrimination. You'll take time before you crack it in. I think even Lupita might not be confessing to this, but she's she's not getting all it easy there. No, nothing is easy in the world. Eh? Mm. See, at least you have cameras. Yeah. Mommy, if I have to have X amount of money, mm. we write a very nice script. You know, it's those short ones. Yes. You know, there's always funding that yes, comes yes, here. Yes, there. yes, yes. Then I do a full film movie, age. and you say, Nani Shikilia, Shikilia, it's better than what most people are playing. Mm. If I manage to sell it to uh, person X, yes. that network, yes. I'll give you, I'll break you off some yeah. amount. Yes. But now the problem in Kenya is, and I've interacted with many people who produce these mm. things, mm. money comes from the country for mm. produce this to be put on this platform. Mm. The government given the money wants to take 98% of it without doing anything. And then the artist remains with those. Me, I, I don't want to have headaches because of, if you don't know pay, you get those cheap guys there. Mm. On mm. Mm. Once we get rid of that culture, mm. uh, people mm. keep on saying, let's fight corruption. I've been given 10 mic to produce five episodes. You keep 9.5 to yourself first. It's like, hey, boss, father to your job, who can tell him opportunities to come? I started hearing that nonsense when I was 25. I'm now 41, surely. <laughs> I'm not waiting for that day in the future to come. My future is now. No money, no honey. Yeah. I'm on a pesa. Life goes on. You, you can do your adverts. Because yeah. now I see you, you do a lot of adverts. You're like you, you're like you. Because now guys will tell you, client, I'm like, wait a minute. This brand, let's call it Ally Water. They want to advertise the whole country. But I want to do. They work on a 1 million radio station, 400 yaile. Like in the voice that will make people buy you know those are things guys will tell you like watch I just go and drink my own tap water you guys keep those man but it has to get to a point because people are desperate there's someone who will take that 500 bucks there's someone who will take that 2 G's but let's say the client chomo ada meter unelewa wakuna pesa ya studio wakuna pesa ya watu waku play zads ya kutundi wakuna really but guys fall for that nonsense. I wanna do. A client I wanna do. A client the blue chip. Hey, kwanza <laughs> audio na if they just like paying me what's that VAT at the end of the month? What's yeah, that yeah. where 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 the whole economy is crashing? Yeah. Hey. Then I wanna do. I wanna do, bro. A guy can tell you that an alcohol company. Soon what wanna kunya kunya if you gather in a chicken do caribou you have to bro. I'm like, I must look stupid, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to do this type of deal, Brandon. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay. And people don't what know. What I'm going to say, come out. You know what I mean? You have to be cocky sometimes so that you move on from it. Why would you tell me an alcohol brand doesn't have money? And then they give some other nice girls with nice voices to mm. talk to you on the phone. I can make well, well. Imagine Kata and someone who went and attacked off a new job. Like, you know, I want to do. Imagine I want to do. But they really like you. <laughs> are, you, are you on TikTok? Uh, no, no, I really, I, I, I took the name, but are you on Instagram stories and fleets? Mm. You, you do those? No, but you do, 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 you know, because you know, you can make a lot of money on that. Speaking instead of a lot of money, <laughs> instead of, I was sitting with some guys, you know, mm. gang, gang, what was it? You know, they only have the weirdest yes, yes, stories. Yes, yes, yes. So some of these guys started talking about the way the more followers someone has, the more money they give. And this guy specifically mentioned, you have like 1.7 on Twitter. Mm. Uh, hey, Buddha, when you're going to look at the followers, followers need to come. You have 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 to come. I'm like, which school did this guy? <laughs> so when you called me, I was like, this might be the perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you 1.7? I'm going to come next week. So we'll get some of you. So we'll be there. Hey, big shout out to that guy. You know, no, but you know. I know guys say it with confidence. Uh, uh, okay, like, what? Basically, I'm very nervous. Now, squeezy, squeezy, very. Veve si veve. Mogoka ndio? Ndio ndio kila kitu. Unajua Mogoka Mogoka was like 20 bob, 30 bob, but That's veve the veve was tao. But uh -huh. now Mogoka is more expensive than veve. Oh, I haven't been watching the <laughs> the veve stock exchange to see <laughs> how how they are. 
Be so I don't know. I don't, I don't know how that happened because you know. You seem to have a lot of info. No, but I stayed in Majengo. You know, ah. when I was going to school, I was used to stay in those hostels okay. in Majayi. So and Majayi used to be the headquarter where you dump it first, then you distribute it. All the meros used to live in Majengo. The guy who tries to hack your account for the bank to look for that 1.7 that comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be surprised that will hit. <laughs> and also the KRS use those things nowadays. You know the KRA guys, KRA guys, <laughs> KRA, KRA guys just sit on, 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 on their, in front of their tellies and just watch people bragging. I'm like, then in case you're not scared when he's here. <laughs> yeah. Like yesterday's news, I was seeing this Muindi who was, uh, what, London distillers. Ah, then that's, <laughs> they won 2.5 billion from yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. you wonder, you know. Yeah, they had to go to 1.7 years. We can feel we would have But you know now they do it. Because I saw, like, there's a notice now, Zoom. They yeah. start paying tax. Hey. Netflix, tax. But they can, we want to tax ourselves into prosperity. Yeah, yeah. no, but also Facebook. Do you get, uh, like, Facebook ads? Do you, do you get paid through Facebook? Oh, no. Well, it was you guys are wasting your talent. You know, there's something called Facebook Creators Suite. Mm -hmm. the you see, that who did the IT now, you're channeling me. Yes. Uh, I'll buy you a drink. There's a creator studio. There's a, a, yeah, video. there's a creator studio for Facebook. Facebook owns Instagram. So mm -hmm. if you're doing nice content on Instagram and Facebook, so you can even post on Instagram, then it comes automatically to Facebook. Yeah, I know that and way you can cross... Uh, yeah, yeah, cross post. Yeah. yeah so but you are yeah, yeah, do on your... Yeah, so there's something called instant articles on Facebook. You paid for articles you write. Then there's something called the infid ads. So now like your video, Mutaona in a stop video, then you play the infid ads. Mm. video, nini, the web page. And that's why Will Smith and the wife does the Facebook watch. Because you know, people, there's a lot of creators in, in Kenya, they make the mistake of going to YouTube. Hey, YouTube, Kwanza, you know now, <laughs> your ad, the, the ads have to play? Yes. That's how you monetize. I mean, yes. they the ads for Kenya. Jay, family Ayako, what's the first thing you'll do when 35 seconds last <laughs> skip? Mmm, to go up on a family Ayango, to napenda kupi, skip. How much, how much do you earn? The guy who made at G after how many views do you want? But you know, they, they also the the ninis they have to make it interesting. No? Because the ads come to you depending on what you do online. So if you you, you browse family planning, you will always get family. <laughs> <laughs> if you're always watching weird things. Unataka kupanga wazazi. Just know that guy, the things he watches. Do you know that the average woman is not satisfied sexually? <laughs> <laughs> if you hear that, <laughs> you ask us the why. So what have you been watching? What are you trying to tell me? You know what I mean? Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, but so, the youth, that info is out there. Yeah, Feel free so, to highlight. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, 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 yeah, it gives that info. No, but you know, by there, by there, you guys okay. need to need to because if you make, it encourages more advertisers to use because you know the, the, the advertisers are not on these platforms. Because the influentials are not using this ad so much, ah. the the Twitter ads, the the Facebook ads, the Instagram ads, the TikTok ads, mm. and they pay massive. If you check on that, that there's a guy called Big Doors. On big Big yeah. Doors, Doors D O D A W oh. S. So he's a Big Doors TV. Mm. Go to his uh, skits on uh, on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah. This guy is making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Is this trap? In states. Ah, okay. So what he does, he, you know, the, because I'm telling you the opportunities here, what he does is that he just comes with a crazy thing like, now today I'm going to give 10K to each restaurant. He's, he does pranks most of the time. Mm. Then there's Ed Bassment, then there's uh, Stephen Shapiro. These guys are, you know, the influential. I mean. So you learn from them how they are making it on Facebook. And you also learn why why this Jada Pinkett decided to host Red Table Talk on Facebook and not on YouTube. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the Facebook is paying. So it's on Facebook Watch. Because Facebook was trying to promote the Facebook Watch and she's making, you know, good, good money. money. The, the, Will Smith would not be in a place. That's how you see in the lake, Kusema, you have a nice way to get on Facebook Watch, eh? Yes. Let me look for you over the weekend. Yes. I, I, I start making money, then I, I give guys that bullshit story, all politicians say, you know, Ni, ni through God, mm. yo. Mm. Uh, ni, 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 
nilikuwa na makaa nikaingia kwanza kuuza ma smoky so i sell that narrative lakini nakula tu pesa ya ya facebook watch yes uh, no facebook watch is it's not a value but there you know you can make that money and as ingine ukiwa na attitude kama yako you can decide not to come to work so you make only from facebook watch So what you do attitude yangu ni gani hebu just No just uh, listen listen <laughs> listen not to respond but to understand okay, <laughs> So what you do with the attitude yako au jaluo unaweza ku decide leo by the have made one m why do i go to work why do i suffer this traffic mm. si nikae tu home nilime kachamba hapa nyuma ni grow vegetables Yeye anataka kwenda kwa radio ni anze kulima shamba No no this is now subsistence mtu oh, anakulimia okay. kulima sio wewe unalima okay. you can pay somebody 20k to just be doing your your your, your work in that your mansion in in, in, in Riyadh Hills in, in Riyadh in Kitusuru mm. <laughs> Kitusuru where people are guarding working in their homes with guns yeah, it's, it's a nice neighborhood yeah Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> so the acting now you've landed we, we never talked about your new your new assignment. You've joined uh, Jeff Koinange. Yes. And my friend says Mutungi. The the, the one great Akamba lady has done what? She told me that you know people always she always teaches me about radio. Mm. And she taught me something that you know people make the mistake to make the comic part the main stay of radio. Mm. It's, it's supposed to be it's, it's not supposed to be all through. You're supposed to make appearance. You know. Yeah. That's so, that's what she's done for her own radio station, Ama. No. <laughs> no she says, you know like now if you go to she Kiss, uh, if you go to Kiss, Jalango is constantly there from 6 or is it 5 to 10. Um who is doing uh, this radio Maisha and Milela, I don't know who is where now mm. because you know they, they keep shifting. Uh, you have uh, but you have Papa Sherando like team at uh, Royal Media where they on Citizen so i don't know what you think of the comedians on on, on the main shows uh, let me just ask you this if you're going to work in the morning yes. do you would you rather laugh cry or be sad of those three depends on if you want to be informed yeah you will be informed mm. But you see now based on the conversation of the two people mm. these two people will give you their story in the way they give stories. Mm. Mm. So if the guy has uh, his funny way of expressing himself let him be. Mm. If someone likes to concentrate on sad stories let them be. Mm. It's like golf gospel stations. Mm. Everyone wants to go to heaven but tell me Once which gospel day. station do people listen to in the morning? You know those people now talking a dull way, nini. Heaven is not supposed to be a boring place. Is there a gospel station now? I don't know which one. I you you not, see? Not you don't know. But do you want to go to heaven? No. Switch it off. I cannot <laughs> stay with a heathen. Is it called a heathen? <laughs> <laughs> but you get my point. Yes, yes. Because you know heaven has been... You know, uh, like, uh, been, I'm looking at the book of Ephesians chapter 4 but the Bible says that there is a particular chapter like Zima Yokito. You get? It? So, yes. do it in a way that there are some guys who listen to that thing 24/7 but all 16 that thing of them, yes. the station manager his wife the very few people. Yes. So, you do the thing the way it's like now if someone someone say no Robert a lie because you do IT mm. just stick to IT you leave this TV stuff this YouTube to the YouTubers. Mm. Will you listen to them or will you say you if you don't do anything with your life leave it. Onela. Yes. So let guys be if this guy wants to crack jokes from 6 to 10 mm. let him do it. If you want to talk about sad stuff me like person I can't deal with sad things. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'll have to look for a way that it'll because sad things make you start feeling weird about yourself. But you know, for, the, for, the, for the for the for the growth of Kenyan media because you know, at some point Kenyan media has sucked like almost while mm. the creative space is expanding. But they are sucking and people are blaming this on lack of creativity you know guys who if you bring the along or you bring nick down 20 radio stations would be trying to fight for nick because nick has succeeded at hot 96 what they don't realize is that success cannot be copy pasted you cannot yeah. take success at hot 96 and say that it will succeed at, at a radio station b or it's uh, c So and and you've seen that when I think who was the first comedian on these shows it's yeah, all money. yes uh, ridiculous yes so now it's all comic then who brought patanisho now it's all so it does patanisho 
You know, also, some people like to look for something that works and see if they can replicate it. Because, see, an idea doesn't exclusively belong to you. Mm. That's why there's pranks and everything. It's mm. just that now some people mm. need to just figure out how can we do what so-and-so is doing, but in a better way. In a unique way. Then you, you, you rename yours a certain way, see if it's mm. going to work. But you see now, you can't copy. Like then I do those my Barack Obama and mm, mm, mm. the other guys will tell me, hey, Nick, neither do you do boy said you queen of so we'll put your job. I'm like, so you want me to give you my job or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Suit yeah. of the Yako mm. that can add value, mm. then I see where to push mm. you. But if you come to ask me for my job, surely, and I'm not a HR, how am I gonna help you? You want to replace yourself. Uh, <laughs> and, hey, you know, there's another guy here who's a very good presenter. I think he's even better than me. He's like, ah, oh, sir, bring him here. You know what I mean? Mm. So you as an individual, figure what you like doing. Yeah. Try it, try it, try it till you get your own path mm. and rhythm. Mm. Then go for it. Mm. You can't copy how Nick and Jeff do it. You can't mm. copy how another presenter and another presenter do it. Mm. What you can do is you can see the gap in what they do and create your own niche. Unelewa. Mm -hmm. mm. Upande, upenye. Mm. Mm. What, 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 what kind of technology do you do? In? Do you use in your creative process, you know, from research to now? Just my phone. I, my phone. You record I'm, your own videos. I record my own videos. You know, now back in the day, I think there used to be processes for editing, nini. Mm -hmm. So you'd ask someone, hey, will you edit for me? This, this story is relevant. Like, if the story is relevant today, mm -hmm. by evening it will still be relevant. We'll leave worst case scenario tomorrow. We won't party video ya story ya leo next Thursday. Unalewa. Mm. So guys start telling you, oh, no, creative juices were well flowing, when I could edit in Itaji. But now, since you don't know how to edit, mm. you believe it. Until I learned, I can edit for myself. And you buy a lapel mic, where you took a phone, you record, we edit, chop, chop, do a second take, a third take, throw it out there. So the world is getting, things are getting easier to use. Mm. You get mm -hmm. Back in the day, you had to take photos, mm -hmm. the cameraman tells you, uh, <laughs> film my jaja. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a bus to town, Studio One, mm. then he processes them, then mm. they get banned. Mm. Ah, pictures mm. little maker. Now, even your phone, you can record a movie, mm. you can record a song, you can do a video. Yeah. So now the youth now have, my daughter the other day made a cartoon. I'm like, who taught you this? Like, I taught myself, no, you're lying to me. Show me. Like, wow. Yeah. She can Back grow. in the day, you have to go to school. Yes. Now the apps just help you out too. Then you lip sync the voice and you're good. Well, yeah. So now there's so much more opportunity. You don't really have to get like an actual, actual job. Mm. You can create your own job. Yes. You know, Maybe. like I like this guy, uh, Flacco. Yeah. yeah. Where he does all, and he acts all these roles. I, I don't know how many are there. Five, six, four, seven. Five. You get, and you write them, you script them, you put the punchlines where you want. Mm. You have your guy who's with you, who you mm. edit with, and you break him off his, mm. you buy your own equipment. Back in the day now, if you're having a birthday party and you want a cameraman. Huh? Hmm? A kuje? I edit, I come here, kuna kazi. I'll give you next Thursday. Mm. Now it's just short, short videos you can delete, mm. edit, put them together. The production guys need to take shorter. Now it's short and sweet is the way to go. <laughs> Depending on what it is you're shooting, of course. <laughs> you know. Yes. <laughs> it's like, let me give you the example of, uh, you've watched Nat Geo. Yes. Nat Geo, they can follow... Street, that is Simba, the monkey. Mm, yes. He's fallen in love with Tumbili, mm. the leopard. He's following him, to, you know. Mm -hmm. And you can watch that nonsense the whole day. Do that again, narrates, nini. Simba is emotional. Yeah, Simba, Simba is, is emotional. Now. I think he's depressed. <laughs> <laughs> His girlfriend has been cheating on him of late. This is her, bouncing around with another lion. It's cheating habit is in the wild. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And you watch that Nazi, they can even show you a bee, do, you know, is what's it called, germinating a plant, yes, nini, yes. and then that nini blossoms, you just watch it continuously. Pollinating, yeah. You <laughs> get it. So they, they'll put their mind to give you some nice shots, nini, piece it together, and you can watch Nazi over and over again. Yes. I'm going to now give a Kenyan TV station to go and follow for you as Zebra. <laughs> uh, huh? You don't even put the coloring properly. Yo, you're watching your eyes, are, hey. And then like, zzz, Mm. Cut, copy, paste. <laughs> you need, you need, you know, there's some Kenyans who are shooting these not your things. You need to. <laughs> the only problem <laughs> is that the platforms they are getting are not investing in technology. Yeah. So you find that media stations still run on 360p, you know, so. Yeah, that's like 144 it. pixels. Yes, yes. So now, like you, they are dark like this if you yes. put on hey, the national broadcaster. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>
ya chino donje station so ama hii tv imeharibika mbona <laughs> iko black hivi put bright 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 now you look great yeah. <laughs> you know you know, the, you know those photographers who used to come to the village and they pick a jaluo picture you know you look like Sudanese then the die or the, the 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 women there insist gola marabu that means make me brown that's how filter that yes put for me some filter yeah, put red eye like a gola marabu so yeah so so this so you know creativity there's a lot of space and the mm. platforms you know and then also the people at the top of these industries need to open up their mind mm. to new technologies yes oh, and give people creative space to because a 20 mini program if done really well can be very entertaining but if again they're just saying we we have space between 9:30 and midday put for us a program then you have some of the, I can watch those Nigerian movies where I say I want to cook rice. Yes. Then that mother is here on a boda boda first she has gone to the supermarket she's going through rice then she says put for me 2 kilos. Then you see her getting on a piki piki she goes she gets an accident she saves she goes to hospital still comes back home then now she starts boiling. And that's why the other episode 1 it is is it part 1 part 2 part 3. Part 2 and 3 is her journey to go and buy the rice before she washes it and cooks it and that whole accident scene. No, keep it nice, short and sweet. Edit. Fanya edit. Am I making sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you think like your shows. Yeah. When you're on radio 10 years, you know that then the digital platform was not in it. But now your show on like the current job. Mm. Do you guys promote your show? How? You have the creative team who does the Yeah, we promote the, uh, on the TV. You know, I've just done it for a few days. Mm. but also with radio it's if we hype and then you tune in mm. and you enjoy yourself mm. you naturally tell me mm. you will tell someone else who tell someone else who tell someone else yes it's like a bar you don't really have to advertise it mm. if it's nice mm. i'll call you you will call someone else mm. so Chema you guys charge don't, user. don't go okay chema charge user i want to show you you go to a radio station mm-hmm. and you take that and you what do you do you with with jeff you mm-hmm. take photos you know because now radio is also not voice only mm-hmm. radio is voice and sometimes people do it with video mm-hmm. there guys like i see the energy guys are doing the video the youtube thing mm-hmm. but do you guys do promotion like on, on on video links uh no us we are very good at our job eh? mm-hmm. uh, don't pro- co- compare us to those minuscule stations <laughs> hmm? so <laughs> we are good at our job you really know jeff you really know nick i've been doing this 16 years now yes all right mm. so i tell you to tune in but I jeff is sure. like a junior now no, jeff has been in this for about three years four years, four years. <laughs> but he has picked it up the media for what maybe 20 25 25 years, years yeah. uh, so we are two minds put together to have a wonderful experience mm. there's no junior or senior in that show it's jeff and nick Mm. They're trying to set me up. I'll be called by HR. Name That's, content. That's content. <laughs> <laughs> That's content. That's content. Okay. We are brothers. This is our show. Yeah. Not mine, not his, ours. That's that, that, that's very nice to have the confidence now because you know I believe I always tell him I believe like my friends believe that is not meant for radio. Now that it's like me saying you're not meant for TV fast <laughs> because of this hue. Hue is another word for color. Yes. <laughs> uh facial appeal uh, some people are born handsome others <laughs> are, are born, born like you you uh, you must have been a very special big i had seen someone who's got a baby <laughs> and then now when mothers come to say you know congratulations nini nini say oh akaka toto ni kanzam oh anafanana babake now you they say eh hey, akika na pumwa vifit <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey that's very good uh, anyway so you need to go for more comic shows you need to replace Churchill <coughs> you know and Jalango <laughs> you know with the thing with jokes is huh? mm. uh when you talk to someone yeah. and they say something then now I say something now we bounce off of each other because yeah. interviews 
sometimes can be very boring. You watch mm. other people who just come and ask you. Yes. They have these 10 questions they ask in all interviews. Mm. But you see now some people listen. Then So me, I'm good at bouncing off someone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, like, like, like you, you start interviewing me. You yeah. Know, yeah. Because you're just asking me the same thing. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I get to know you, Nini. Then I will have, by the time we've done 15, 20 minutes, we have so much that we can play mm. around with. As a, I, I, th I think you need to do <laughs> more comic, comic shows. And, and also, because I love watching your adverts, sometimes you know, you bring out the lure. The only problem is that when you attack Baba, mm. we might throw you off town. Yeah. <laughs> no, Baba is not to be attacked. Baba, Baba. you know. It's an enigma. Be, yes, an enigma. You don't attack. And you <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to run for politics? Uh, no, it sounds like a nice idea, but no. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to stay in a creative space. Because, and you know, Maji Maji said that. That he For a very long time. No, no, that he doesn't want anything to do with politics. Now, I'm not a politician, I'm more an entertainer. I think I'll just stay in this space. Hmm. Uh, while I'm there, I'll put, you know, politicians yeah, on Yalang the spot. also said that. And everybody you see now, everybody is going for politics. What nah, do you think nah, about that? No. Kill them to know what they want out hmm. of life, you see, because you're allowed to be ambitious. Hmm. Uh, but are you passionate about, you know, sometimes changes in the society? Because, you know, that's drives. Yeah, I feel like a lot of politicians um, sell hope. Hmm. But I can only sell hope for so long. So me, what I would like to do is in the next few years, give civic, civic knowledge in a, in a nice educative manner so that you understand mm -hmm. not to be manipulated, mm -hmm. not to take uh, nonsense, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to put people and hold them accountable for their actions. If you say you're going to put... Telling me you're going to bring roads is not... A, 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 that is my right. I need to be able to move smoothly from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. Going to school is also my right. Right, going to university and an enabling environment for me to have my first job mm. when I'm 18, 19, so that I can pay back my help mm. is also and should be my right. Even mm. if it's 15, 20k, every person should be able to pass to that system of getting your first job mm. right after school. Mm. Mm. Then now these are the things you can promise. We are going to increase the number of cancer hospitals and you implement. How hard is it to build a hospital? All these hospitals have cancer equipment lying there because the knowledge for to uh, handle these machines is not there. That's a very sad state. Mm. You get. I don't mm. understand why a pensioner should be waiting for two thousand bob. Then someone steals that money. Surely, mm. Mm. Huh? after having a miserable life of being lied to, lied to, lied to, lied to, lied to, let's stop the lies. Mm. Just implement. Do your job. Kula your one million. Imagine someone wants one million lying to a guy who doesn't have a job, but he'll bring you jobs. Say like, "Kini sasa ni mesema wa mama." And then those mothers, like how important is a leso in your life that it's so, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. Let's stop the basicness and move on. So how do you participate in that? Because you do the skit, I love your skits. So sometimes when you respond to politicians, but you, you don't feel like you, you need to go to a higher level, the leadership, sometimes even the leadership of the media stations. Because in the media stations, we blame the politicians. The media stations in this country are very powerful. And sometimes they control the politics of the day. If you see them push one candidate, the candidate can go far. No, you see, I think it also boils down to uh, the individual presenter on TV or radio mm. and how they address the issue. You mm. see some people, I don't know if it's ego or self-esteem, they really like to walk on eggshells around these people. Mm. Well, you could have just asked the question, he'll answer, you'll see how have to ever, it back. Have you ever interviewed a politician? Yeah. Yeah. You ask the question. Me, I'm not afraid of anyone. So you're the one who said you've done this, 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 this. Mm. Why haven't you done this other? See, it's all written on the internet, all the things you promised. So I'll ask. Mm. So we'll get to the point where people can ask these questions, mm. put people on the spot. Mm. Uh, you can't come to tell us, do you need to make a barabara? Uh, but you'll ask like once, sense. and the next time, they'll call you for chai, and you'll have a relationship. Eh, hey, me, I'm not those guys who can call for chai. Mm. I might just be looking like I'm in jeans and all this, but I am not a cheap person. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, for me to sell your narrative, I don't know what you'll buy for me. Yes. Uh, like Juicy, I met another guy who told me to post his picture. It's like a socialite you need type of running for. Mm. I told him he's going to give me 5,000 shillings. To a whooping 0 0.00005 million. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I told him, eh? <laughs> Sour. Mm. We'll talk. So I just got up, asked my friend, every can we talk? And I left. You, you get Because that's like me campaigning for him for whatever post he wants. No. No. That's, I can't do that. 
No, that's imposing. Because you know people will get to the voting, to the ballot and everything and look at the names. Then they remember the one Nick pushed. Mm. But now that time you have pushed for you guys are third. Like I wants to loot everything. Mm? Did you push for for the spot pacer? The spot for, for did, you ever, did you ever do a promo, promo for them? Yeah, when you advertise, yeah. Okay. Mm. You know, like goes now that there's a whole media team regretting ever engaging with, with Why? them. Why? Because you know, it, it was all exploitation. People say so. Because these guys were adding three, four billion a month, but they're only spending 300 million in Kenya. The Pesa was going to go to the But what stopped you from starting your own spot Pesa? No, it's not about stopping. Mm. You know the vice economy, how sometimes you guys are bashed. You know, it's not, it's not bad. Sometimes you, you see the vice economy, you know, the alcohol, then when people go, die, but, but, but what alcohol kills people? Either illicit or yes. drunk driving. Yes. All right? Yeah. And you already know drinking and driving yeah. is outlawed. Mm -hmm. So now you and your, uh, you know, the car knows the way home. You know, I mean, those guys say, you, but cheers, Baba. Mm -hmm. My car knows the way home. Then he goes and gets an accident. Then you have to buy those t shirts written, and we loved you, but God loved you more. No. We loved you, but you were drunk driving. Rest in peace. And that's the truth. You understand? Mm. Don't blame alcohol for your accident. You were the one who's dri you're the one who bought that Got car. In. Yes. You were drunk. Mm. You could have taken a taxi home, but you decided to you fell asleep. You are gone. Now we have to come there and say how nice of a person you are. You don't bury such friends. I mean, I don't even go to funerals, to be honest. I know that sounds bad, mm. but I don't hear a lot of lies sad. and sad stories. If you are really close to me, I'll make time. But says that you know your best year, best year, best year, nani? Why? <laughs> no, surely why? I know it sounds bad, but <laughs> why? That, where let it come at that time after listening to how nice <laughs> you, you guys are. are heartless. Where we are Andrew Kibe? I'm not are heartless. heartless. Yeah, just keep it, nini. <laughs> and the guy is saying, quite the worst I hate about funerals is we want to give so and so a decent send off. What is decent about send off? Going to. So you, we are targeting 1.8 million. That guy didn't even have 30k. And when he needed two Gs, none of you gave him. Mm. Now just bombarded with, like now I've got like 15 invites to WhatsApp groups for funerals. People I don't know. People who would never be there for me. What am I supposed to do? Be a politician. But I don't then be it a will be, it will be in your allowances. <laughs> yeah, Pana. Pana. Let's learn to appreciate people while they're here. Yes. And stop your friend. If you see he's drunk, just take the keys away. I always tell them, you know, I always my try, G. <coughs> Don't blame the alcohol company. I always, I always tell them that, you know, my friend, you're going to die. It's like there's a friend of mine called Oke. I always tell them that, you know, what is going to kill you? Alcohol. Because you don't know yourself when you're drunk. Oke. Which language does he Luo. And okay, IT. Akpana kuwa mutu nini? Nansa. We're now getting deep now. Eh? <laughs> Asante sana. I think, I think we have enjoyed ourselves with uh, Nick mm. Odiambo. Yes. A.K.A. Kef Joinange. <laughs> A.K.A. Jacom. In, uh, in what? In, on screen. Uh, <laughs> yes. So thank you for coming here. We are trying to to look Uzunguni, mm. though we are just bloggers. Uh, Uzunguni, why? Because of the no, huh. you know, being on screen is Uzungu. You know, it's easy. It, no. it, 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 it is not. Africans are not meant for videos and photos. No, and no, just own it. Just say me, yeah. no matter lie. <laughs> I am not, not photogenic <laughs> yes. or videographic. <laughs> any god, <laughs> it's god. Uh, <laughs> So uh, let let guys do whatever makes them happy. Yes, Jerry Butu. Yes. Mm. So so thank you for coming. Thanks for telling your story. I know that today after 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 what ten you don't have a job. Baka baka kesho. You live a very good life. But you can go and it's the life I chose, man. You can you can go create your adverts, create your nice kits on uh, online, share them, inspire the next. But what you have to do is mm. CSR. Takupereka kwanza shule ngino uko ahero. Oh, ahero the girls. I know. All I will the best in finding me. I will. <laughs> no, I, will, I, will, I, will I will. I will. Teacher, that celebrity has come here. In those schools where they still shave girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Yes, your, your sides are like, you cannot study because your hair is too long. Yeah. Then they shave her again. 
Dia tu sulit. Yes. Oh. And the same with Makasi. Hmm. Mm? The end. <laughs> to the end. <laughs> to the end. You know, we'll find a sponsor. We'll take you there. To you know, you go and talk to them. Don't be mean in your knowledge. Somebody share. I haven't said I'm mean. No. It's just got to be worthwhile. No. Just do it. The payment. Iko bingoni. You're, you said you're running for 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 MP. <laughs> yeah, MP. yeah, yeah. You, you, you already got on the lingo, right? <laughs> you, you want to be paid by taxpayers' money at the end of the month? <laughs> like, no, Mama. Yeah, because they kuna nyumba ya dhabu kwa bingoni. Oh, di te da uko kijana yangu. Ube sebe di dhabu. Hey, so, so so thank you so much for coming asante yeah. sana like we said we are at the Uluazi place a very nice place in uh, Kitusuru uh, we offer accommodation there's accommodation there's uh, what meeting rooms there's um, food if you want good food 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 yeah. the type of okinani kwa napenda the clean food good food you can what food do you like no me me na njahe <laughs> Jahina, Okimo, Narech, Namorsik. Eru Kamano, thank you so much. Asante sana.